y'all welcome back to my channel it is post quarantine june 2020 and if you were like me during the lockdown you were eating a lot of stuff that you should not have been eating in the first place but we were bored we didn't have nothing else to do we went big grocery shopping and we ate big <laughs> i gained 14 pounds 14 whole pounds during the lockdown and i'm gonna show you how i lost it please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and let's get to it different ways to detox these days i wanted something natural like meaning i can do it myself with items from the grocery store so that's why i chose to do jj smith's 10 day green smoothie detox this is actually the third time i've done this and every time i get pretty good results if you're not familiar jj smith is a black woman i love that i love supporting anything that a black person does so i was really geared to uh stick with her how this works is it's 10 days long there are two versions of this detox you can do a full version which means uh you don't have a solid meal you have three smoothies in a day with snacks and the modified version is you have one healthy meal two smoothies and your snacks okay so what i did was alternate honestly some days i did you know no meal and other days i was feeling weak so i was like you know what i'd rather have a healthy meal um than just break and just you know eat something bad so i am pescatarian so my healthy meal was um always seafood one of the times i made cod with sauteed mushrooms and some grilled asparagus it was really yummy example of what a day's worth of food for me would look like would be i would start my morning with my detox tea then i would usually have two hard-boiled eggs and i start my first smoothie um in between then that and my lunch smoothie i would probably have celery and peanut butter or apples and peanut butter i love peanut butter um then you know i have my second smoothie and then in between I would have either um, one of the protein bars, the RX bars that she um, recommends, or again, I would either have an apple, apple with peanut butter, or celery with peanut butter. It was kind of um, repetitive what I was eating. And then at night, I would have my third smoothie. And that's if I didn't have a meal. I would, If I had a meal, I wouldn't have the lunchtime smoothie. That's where I would eat. I would eat um at lunch because you're taking in a lot fewer calories um it's advised not to overdo your workout like don't do anything strenuous i would do these 20 minute workouts um on youtube's fitness blender fitness blender is the channel and just so i break a sweat i would also wear my waist trainer to try to keep keep my tummy in and suck it all in <laughs> So um, you'll see the biggest weight loss the first two days, and then after that, you'll start to lose about a pound and about half of half of a pound to a pound every day from then on. I lost a total of ten pounds, so um, it wasn't my entire fourteen pounds, but I'm happy. I was happy with that. <laughs> Let's go over the pros and cons, in my opinion. So mm, the biggest pro to this for me was it was natural ingredients and i could continue this on after the 10 days i could continue it on for the rest of my life if i wanted to have two smoothies in a meal or anything like that it wasn't you know i don't feel like it's an unhealthy diet something that i'm restricting or restraining myself from too strenuous and i love that i also love that this diet resets your palate so i'm not craving the ice cream anymore i'm not craving pizza and it just it just changes the way you want to eat i love that there are two variations so if you are someone who you know you can't go without a meal you can go to the modified version love that there is such a big 
support group on Facebook for me to ask questions, search other people's questions, look at other people for inspiration. It's really motivating just to, you know, you're not in this alone. I bought the ebook on my Kindle. So that way, when I go into the grocery store, I have my grocery list on my phone versus a paper bag. I got to carry it around, got to look it up, whatever. It's with me wherever I am and I love it. Now, the cons for me was I missed hot food in my belly. Like I missed chewing, I missed all of that. You can overdo your snacks because it's so much protein. And then you're not, you don't have an appetite for your smoothies. In my experience, I had a headache the first three days. Somewhere within the first three days, most people start to feel a headache or start to feel really tired or irritable because you are detoxing from sugar. It's best to plan this around a time you don't have any events. <laughs> we were on lockdown. There were no events. <laughs> Some of the items on the grocery shopping list that she provides in her book are a little hard to find. I would recommend Whole Foods all the way. You'll find everything at Whole Foods, but you know Whole Foods is overpriced. So start at Walmart, get everything you can get there, then move to Whole Foods. It's still recommended to drink 64 ounces of water while you are on this detox. And that was very hard. You've been drinking these smoothies all day. You don't want to drink nothing else. You're full. Your belly is full of fluid and you will be going to the bathroom urinating nonstop. Another kind would be the flabbiness. Because we're losing weight fastly, like it's not often you lose 10 pounds in under two weeks, you can lose some muscle tone. Also, some people have a hard time having a bowel movement um, days after they start the detox. She recommends uh, MAG-07 <clears throat> and I used it and it, it definitely cleans you all the way out and it's not like a laxative that you can't control your bowel movements, you gotta go. And it's not one that makes your stomach cramp or anything like that. Should you decide to do the modified version, I feel like it'll be easier for you to transition back into normal eating healthily after the detox is over. Also, once you get off this detox, you will gain some pounds, okay? You will, because you're gonna be eating more, you're gonna have a higher calorie intake. So after the detox, I gained three pounds. I later lost them because the gym's open, but um, you will gain some pounds back immediately after you stop this detox. And that's to be expected because you were just drinking smoothies. And all in all, I would highly recommend this detox to anybody. I would definitely recommend you do this with a friend or um, get in the support group. I hope you give it a try. If you're looking for something natural, a natural way to detox your body, give it a try. Let me know how it works. I have plenty of before and after pictures that I'm posting. I started at 189 pounds. I haven't been in a 180s in years. Like, oh my God. And then when I ended, I was at 179. I have since lost more weight. I've since lost all my 14 pounds, praise God. But it started with this detox, jumping, starting my palate, because it always starts with your diet. You cannot out-exercise a bad diet. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It, so once I was able to get my appetite back right, I was able to do the rest. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to my channel.